Hello, welcome to China Mosaic. I'm Wang Xiaohui for China.org.cn. July 1st, 2017 marks the 20th anniversary of Hong Kong's return to China. The city was under British colonial rule for more than a century. However, 20 years ago, it returned with the motherland under the one country, two systems principle and became a special administrative region. The one country, two systems principle means that within the People's Republic of China, the mainland will maintain its long-standing socialist system, while Hong Kong will continue to follow an essentially capitalist system. In other words, local people would see no major changes in their life and would continue to engage in their favorite activities, headed by horse racing, dancing, and trading in shares on the local stock exchange. Under this principle, the so-called Pearl of the Orient has maintained its robust momentum. Since 1995, it has been ranked first for 23 consecutive years in the Index of Economic Freedom created by the Washington-based Heritage Foundation. 回归了之后，香港是国这一部分。那么我们可以跟广东、珠江三角洲啊一起共建了世界的旗帜，就是世界工厂。In regard to the one country, two systems principle, one country has brought Hong Kong staunch support and vast market demand. The central government in Beijing has helped the city through many hard times, including the 1997 Asian financial crisis and the outbreak of SARS in 2003. It also built many gigantic infrastructure projects, such as the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. The individual visit scheme, which allows mainland travelers to visit Hong Kong on an individual basis, has greatly boosted the local tourism industry. More and more mainland businesses have sought listing on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. The stock market in Hong Kong and the mainland has become increasingly integrated. At the same time, the two systems has brought new status and new opportunities for Hong Kong. The coexistence of the Hong Kong dollar and the RMB has enabled Hong Kong to become the world's largest offshore RMB business center. Currently, Hong Kong can participate in all the international affairs except those related to national defense and diplomacy. It has become a member of the World Trade Organization and a member of the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation, and also sends its athletes to the Olympic Games as a separate team. There is an opinion that Hong Kong's return has slowed down its economic growth. In fact, as a mature economy, Hong Kong has maintained a regular average growth of about 3%. At the same time, the mainland, which is on the rise still, was rapidly developing at a double-digit speed for a long time. Perhaps it's the contrast between normal and the supernormal that gives a false impression to some people. In the past, there were wide differences between the mainland and Hong Kong in many fields. But now, there is a tendency towards convergence between the two sides in terms of economy social management, legal system, and education, etc. Hong Kong and the mainland share the same development direction and ultimate goal and will inevitably work together to build a community of a shared future. The 20th anniversary of Hong Kong's return to China is a new starting point. Hong Kong will usher in a new development stage in the building of the Belt and Road and the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Great Bay Area. The principle of one country, two systems will continue to be enriched in practice and contribute a great deal to the development of Hong Kong. Thank you for watching.